Hello, I'm Ken Fob, and this is NewsNet Baton Rouge. So grab yourself a tea or coffee as I go over with you the headlines and news from our local area and region. On today, our local area and region are still mourning a loss with a sad irony to boot. Life was good for him. He had survived a near-death experience and everything was positive again and seemed to be going his way. How tragic that everything could be taken away in the blink of an eye. We are all hurting. These were the words of Baton Rouge PD retired Captain Don Kelly, who personally oversaw Corporal Shane Toddy's squad as the second district commander before he retired last year, and who was personally familiar with this young officer with the bright future. Corporal Don Kelly recalled that Corporal Toddy suffered long and extensive complications from the injuries he sustained when he was shot in the face nearly a year ago while on a call in the South Baton Rouge area by a person with severe mental issues. After Corporal Toddy was shot in February of 2018, Captain Kelly was quoted and said that Toddy is a family man who approaches his work professionally and with slow but steady care, close quote. Father, we thank you so much for your grace and your mercy that your word says is new every morning. And God, today we ask for a supernatural move of your grace and your mercy on us. God, we thank you for Shane. We thank you for his life, Lord, the memories, the moments. Any such, but he wanted to go to motors. He wanted to be part of one of the most distinguished divisions in the police department, a unit that has produced many Baton Rouge chiefs of police, like G.L. Johnson and Wayne Rahilia, Dwayne White, Carl Dabby, Jeff LaDuff, all motormen. A section that's comparable to the Marines. Corporal Shane Toddy was laid to rest on yesterday with honors after an 11 a.m. funeral that took place at Healing Place Church on Highland Road. After his funeral service, an elaborate funeral procession comprised of various law enforcement and first responder departments personnel from around our city and region respectfully and gently transported his remains to the Green Oaks Memorial Gardens in Baton Rouge, where he was buried. As we all sadly recall, he was killed on Friday of last week after his BRPD motorcycle was struck by a pickup truck as he performed his assigned escort duties during a funeral procession on Jones Creek Road. This took place at about 2.40 p.m. in the 6400 block of Jones Creek Road. Through social media postings by the Baton Rouge Police Department, prayers were solicited for the young man after he was taken to the hospital and was reported to be going into surgery with critical injuries just before 4 p.m. that day. But by 6 p.m. that same day, the Baton Rouge Police Department posted that Corporal Shane Toddy had died. He was only 31 years old and had been with the department since June of 2014. He is survived by his fiance, who had recently given birth to their baby daughter and other family members. His family, will receive a $50,000 grant from the First Responders Fund, according to an announcement by the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. And not only is the community coming forward to offer condolences, but his fellow officers are also doing the same. Lieutenant Chad King said, quote, he was in a shooting a year ago. He was a true warrior, and he really wanted to do something for his child and his fiance, close quote. The local organization called Back the Blue has helped more than 300 local officers and their families. The group has set up a donation drive for this fallen officer's family as well. So please continue to lift up his family and his police department comrades. Lift them up in prayer. These have been some of your headlines and news from our local area and region. I am yours truly, Ken Fogg, and I will see you next time right here on Newsnet, Baton Rouge.